Thank you for staying on the AM show. Now, Sunday, the 24th of July 2022, will be 10 years since the passing of former President John Evans Atamels. And I don't know where you were on that day, how the news was broken to you, uh, but I remember vividly where I was and my reaction after that. But here at Joy News, we choose to celebrate him as one of Ghana's greats, and that's why we've dedicated this 10th anniversary to producing a documentary about who he was, what he stood for, what he's remembered for. And producer of that particular edition of Ghana's Greats, Parkwesi Shandov, joins me in studio with more. Parkwesi, yeah, great nice. work. I've seen excerpts of that documentary. I can't wait to watch the full thing. But tell us exactly what we see in that documentary. What's the focus point? Who are we likely to hear from? Mm. So um, that particular documentary uh, seeks to highlight his personhood as an individual and then his efforts in, in, in government as president mm -hmm. uh, of the republic. So basically we'll be uh, taking a journey, we'll begin, went back on a journey from the time he was born all the way to the time he ventured into the political arena and of course we'll also shine the light on his academic endeavors as well because typically Prof is an academic, he's a lecturer before he, he embraced the mantle of becoming the flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress in 2000, then subsequently in 2008, uh, he won the election. Now, the people to be um, hearing from, uh, we have um, Samuel Koku Ahindo. Now, he was the uh, former director of communications at the presidency. And then we also have Atamils' biological brother. And then we have, you know, some of his colleagues back in the university. And then we also have his son, Yes, his son gave a lot of chilling accounts with respect to how he welcomed the news, the rapport between himself and the president, and a lot of very uh, juicy stuff, mm. I should say. Right. I, yeah. I mean, like I said, fingers crossed. I can't wait to see this. But mm. tell us what times and on what channels we can watch this documentary. All right. So it, it would be here on the Joy News channel. On um, Sunday, it would be at 9 p.m. That is Sunday, the 24th of July. 9, not 8. Yes, 9 p.m. Okay. That, that would be on Sunday. And that happens to be um, the 10th anniversary as well, I mean, following his death. Then on Monday, it would be uh, 8 p.m., still on the uh, Joy News um, channel. Mm. Let me put you on the spot here. I mean, we, uh, he was our president, mm. so we all knew him a bit. We knew mm. him from afar. Mm. I mean, he was a humble person. He was strict, you know, when it came to came to issues of dealing with corruption. Absolutely. And uh, there are people who say that, look, this man, if he had stayed longer, uh, maybe we would see that he he actually was who he was, and it was no pretense. Mm. You know, it, he would have gone the long haul with his 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 personality, his values, and all that. Absolutely. What in this documentary? shocked you well let me see what's the new thing you learned about him speaking to the people he worked with mm. and the people who were close to him his relatives right now you 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 do remember or of course you can relate to the fact that everybody described him as a very peaceful character and that is what earned him the name as sumdrehini but apart from that i mean based on the engagements we had that um constituted the content of the documentary we also realized that he was remarkably um, humble, more than all that we had seen. So, Koko Hindu, for example, gave accounts of how the president, you know, um, rejected privileges that a lot of people ordinarily, ordinarily would have accepted, okay, as, as president. I mean, he was not um, so fascinated about long convoys and having to live in plush, you know, apartments and all of that. And all of those were valid attestations of, of his humility and his, his knack for I mean, a very modest approach, you know, to life. That 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 shocked me because, of course, if if you were that through all the impediments of, mm -hmm. you know, a very tough election and you become president, ordinarily would expect that. Look, you should embrace some kind of comforts, but Mills never embraced anything like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I know that he was quite religious. Huh? Absolutely. Did, did that does that that feature? that featured prominently. And thanks for uh, I mean prompting me on that note as well. Now. 
apparently, even when he had to venture into politics, he didn't see it as so flamboyant that he embraced it all of a sudden. No, he took the decision to God and he had to pray consistently before ac accepting the invitation from former President Rawlings to be you know, his running mate in the very first place. And there was a clergy who was praying consistently uh, with him. He spoke extensively on that particular note as well. So Mills was not the kind of president who was thinking about policies only from the intellectual perspective. He wanted the spiritual resonation as well. What is God saying? And that I thought was very striking, very, very striking. Mm, interesting. Yeah, uh, interesting. Uh, and I, I, do, do we hear from his colleagues on the other side, like uh, the NPP or the other new, political party? No, no, we would, we would not hear from them. Okay. No, but of course, all of them attested to his persona, the kind of warm person he was. Well, there was a little bit of an angle about them. You know, when Mills took power, there was pressure. Pressure was being mounted on him to crack the whip on his dissenters and all those who had accused him. You're right. But, but Mill said, look... Uh, I'm not in for the witch I'm hunting. I'm not in for the witch hunting. I mean, there was a, he had a press conference and someone came to ask him a question mm. that he has plans of wanting to remove the chief justice. You know, in a very humorous fashion, he said, does it look like, you know, a cat hunter? And he just, you know, <laughs> you know took it off. So Mills was, I mean, yeah. spectacular. In, in wrapping this up, where were you... When you heard of his demise and how did it hit you? <laughs> I, I recall with 100% exactitude. Now that is because that Tuesday um, I, I was in high school. We had finished, I, I used to lead um, 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 scripture union prayer meetings. So we had finished, we had prayed and all. I was right here at um, um, the Kwame Nkrumah Circle. I had entered a car and then the, the mate started shouting, Atao, you see, he was saying Atao man. But of course, that is, you know, a, a derogatory term that has been used already. So it didn't really strike me. I thought, oh, this guy was being propagandist. The car moved a little bit further. And then that was when I, you know, the driver opened, you know, the radio and all of us were, you know, broken. So from school, going home and all of that, it was very, very devastating. And when I went home, of course, my dad, mom, they were by the television set. Oh, Atta is gone. Everybody. Yeah. Very sad day. Yeah, very, very sad day it was. Yeah. I remember vividly where yeah. I was. And uh, like Pa Kwesi says, I mean, you hear of people's deaths, but a certain president dying, yeah. that was another ball game altogether. Yeah. Uh, but I think that um, it's worth celebrating him, who he was, what he stood for, and his contribution to this nation's uh, socio-political development. Right, so do make a date on the 24th of July at 9 p.m. and on the 25th of July at 8, 8 p.m. here on the Joy News channel. You can also catch it live on Facebook if you're not close to your TV set at that particular time. All right, Pakwiti, let's move on. Um, there's something else happening this weekend <laughs> aside from this. And yes. you're launching a new program. Mm. Uh, tell us what it's about and uh, why people should should watch it. Okay, so Joy Campus. Now, if you look at the country's demography, of course, we have a very youthful population. And normally, the rhetoric has been that it's the young people who would eventually transit into the mainstream national life and occupy positions and all of that. If all of those assertions are true, then it, it behooves us to, as it were, shine the light on them. L let's see what young people are doing. What are they thinking? What are their ideals? What are the values they are embracing and all of that, particularly those at the tertiary institutions. And that essentially underscores the essence of Joy Campus. So what Joy Campus is seeking to do is to project young people, particularly those in tertiary, I mean, on, in the various tertiary uh, institutions. But the way I am communicating it, if you are hearing me, you may think it's very strict and hard. No, we have, you know, a lot yeah, of fun. Yes. Like young yes. people love to. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> so SRC week celebrations, you know, campus trips, you know, what happened? What, I mean, generally, life on, on campus, mm. I mean, that is basically what uh, a Joy Campus is all about. And, and it's, it's going to air this Sunday at 11 a.m., mm. starting from the nation's premier university, the University of Ghana. Benis, I don't know why you... Yeah, you because you're an old student of the University of well, Ghana. Well, 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 well,
the, the Vandals, they have a brand. They say that they are vivacious, they are ABC, you know. And you know, there's a lot of myths surrounding the entire Vandal, you know, fraternity. Some people have asserted that it's it's a cult, and yes. well, all of those would be demystified. All right. Uh, on, on so, Saturday. so you do this with uh, one of our colleagues? Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Faustina Safo. Yes, Faustina yes. Safo. Great. Faustina Safo. Yeah. Okay, so it's at 11 a.m. So you watch yeah. that at 11 a.m. on Sunday, July 24, and then later at 9 p.m. you catch the documentary mm. on former President John Evans Atamos. Great. I would love to watch that. Sure. Because uh, the first time I saw the Vandals in action, I was shocked. You know? <laughs> uh, that's a conversation for another day. Absolutely. But that's Park Wissi Shandoff, uh, my colleague, producer of the Ghana Greats, um, Professor John Evans Atamos edition, and also a co-host of our new program, uh, Joy, Joy Campus. Campus. Great.